Hello and welcome back to Markets at Noon. Let's welcome in a special guest uh, now, Pankaj Mohindru, Chairman at ICEA, that is India Cellular and Electronic Associations, is now with us. Sir, thank you so much for taking our time for us. Could you just first start by what do you make of the lockdown 3.0 with the sort of relaxations that have come in? What can be the impact on the industry? Uh, how do you see operations resuming in certain areas? Uh, let me give you a strategic and a macro heads up first. Uh, today, with a careful reading of the notifications and their implementations, approximately 100 to 105 crore Indians can now buy mobile phones and get them repaired also, right? Uh, if we slice uh, the environment into three, that is first is tran transportation, supply chain management, Second is manufacturing. And third is demand, which is offline and online. So about 100 to 105 crore Indians who are living in green zones and orange zones can seamlessly buy uh, mobile phones, both offline and online, and they can get it repaired. Now the rest of the 25 crore people who are in red zones, right, which are essentially the cities, uh, now, here, neighborhood stores and standalone stores are permitted. And those clarifications are coming out now. So, those stores will open. So, demand will start getting fulfilled. What is not on is e commerce in red zones and the marketplaces where are uh, the larger stores are in the marketplaces. Repairs, which is which was a very sore point, is now sorted out, and that is uh, unraveling quickly. Transportation is now ninety percent under control, which was the biggest challenge, and that was the biggest effort to put that on track. So, uh, in fact, the last uh, direction which the Home Secretary has sent out. Uh, advisory to the chief secretaries, which clearly puts the movement of trucks in extremely high priority. Is it's like as if it's like an ambulance moving. Moving, you have empty trucks, uh, those trucks, and I think most of your viewers would be aware of this uh, notification. It's a very empathetic and a very strong uh, advisory to the state government is being followed. So transportation is returning to normal. Uh, demand, I just told you what the situation is. Definitely what is missing is e-commerce and our large format stores in the metro areas uh, and the cities, which are classified as red zones at the moment. So that is a big miss. The third major vertical is manufacturing. Now, manufacturing permissions have started coming out. Uh, permissions have been given in Karnataka. Uh, permissions have been given in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, they are very calibrated and very, uh, very careful permissions, I would say, which has health and safety paramount right. so in terms of uh, the authorities. Uh, Tamil Nadu is on the way. Uttar Pradesh, where a very large part of the industry is, is already in discussion. So we are hopeful that manufacturing will uh, get on track. So that's the broad picture at the moment. Right. Uh, you know, could you also just tell us about the mobile phone manufacturing and, you know, how essential supply, how the supply will come to the retail store? Do you think it will take, there will be some time lag before, uh, you know, that essentially happens? So there is, there was uh, some stock as on 24th March in the pipeline, right? Uh, at that time, you know, China was under uh, sort of very uh, serious uh, challenge uh, in uh, February and March. So the supply chain had got disrupted. Uh, that was a challenge we were facing. So because the 
spring festival was going on till 31st january the industry had enough stocks because we had stocked up on components which saw us through february okay so 24th march we had some uh, pipeline stock which will now start getting depleted uh of course the import channel is completely open although imports are very negligible now almost entire manufacturing happens in india so that is a negative point that if we do not uh take off on manufacturing quickly imports will overtake which are currently just 2 3% of uh, india's uh, total volumes people can import from china and vietnam and supply the channel the channel is 70 80% open so manufacturing has to quickly uh, take off the component supply both the domestic component supply is currently constricted but the import component supply is not constricted because china is on track so to that extent there is no uh, challenge uh, transportation right. air logistics are also comfortable okay and transportation to the factories is All also right. comfortable what we are going to face a, a challenge okay. with is how we bring all our workers in uh, how do we restart with uh, you know a truncated uh, labor right. force that's going to be a challenge and but okay more happier note i think by the end of may we should be at about between 30 to 40% of uh, uh normal manufacturing which is which is about 15 to 20000 crores a month we should be at All that right. sure sure okay great uh, that's hopefully good to that that's good to know mr mohindra but we're unfortunately completely out of time so thank you so much for joining us today on the show and giving us an update well folks before we let you go and wrap up wrap up markets at noon parents often struggle to keep their children engaged and help them learn at